engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate a thrift winding distribution transformer in MATLAB simulating software. Before we start with our simulation, if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. You can as well donate to our channel or join our membership team in order to have access to our models and guidance to your project or a special attention in your comments. Three winding transformer model is widely utilized in high voltage direct current system or railway power supply system. Coupled with a diode rectifier, the application of three winding transformer for power distribution is now increasing because of the increased demand for reliable and available electricity supply. The voltage rating of all the three windings of the transformer are usually unique. First, the, first, the primary winding has the highest voltage rating. The second, the, te the tertiary has the lowest voltage rating. And the secondary has the intermediate voltage rating. This is our equivalent circuit diagram. We have the V1, V2, and V3. Here we have our primary winding, secondary winding, and tertiary winding. Now let's go to our MATLAB simulating software to, to simulate our model. This is our model which we had built in MATLAB simulating software. I will be introducing each component before we run our simulation please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share our contents comment and like this video here we have our this supply our ac voltage source 14.4 kVA. Here you have our linear transformer. Units is the unit. You have our nominal power and the frequency. You have our winding parameters. We have our winding parameters one, winding two parameters, and you have our winding three parameters. You can just follow, and you can just yeah, you can follow as it is there. Our 75 kVA linear transformer, 12.4 voltage. Winding one, winding two, and winding three. Maybe the, the same common neutral. We have our load one which is 20 k kilowatt 120 nominal voltage 60 and active power 20 kilowatt we have load 2 120 volt 16 frequency and 20 kilowatt we have our load our load 3 which is 240 and 30 kilowatt power can you see the reactive power the reactive power are, are different 
Then you have our voltage measurement, primary current, power power from the, 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 the supply. Here we have our scope, we have line current 3, line current 2, voltage 2. This is measuring the voltage winding 2. Here we have our breaker. You can decide to open or close, just, just, just to, if you have to separate it. You have our voltage 3, voltage 1, current 1, current 2, current 3. Our scope there. Neutral DFR power GUI is continuous. Now let's run our system. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. Let's check our results. Let's check our power. We have our power, active power and relative power. And we have our voltage V1, V2 and V3. You see the winding voltage, vo voltage winding one is bigger. Voltage two is slight, is, is slower and voltage three is, is the second highest. And um, now let's check our current. This is our current, the current one, current, current line one, two, current at winding one, two, and three. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video.